Hello. Growing beetroot in buckets or bags, which is best? There's only one way to find out. I've grown beetroot in buckets before. Check this out. But I've never grown beetroot in bags before. So we're going to conduct this trial. Which is best for beetroot, buckets or bags? First thing to do, and I've often said this, is you've got to manage your expectations. What does that mean? Well, what could you realistically expect to grow in a small bucket and a small bag? How many will it hold? Let me just move the bag to one side for a minute. We'll do the bucket first. So this bucket, 10 inches across the top and 10 inches deep, and the bag is similar. Um, it doesn't have the exact same dimensions, but it does all the same volume because I've filled a bucket with this soil coir mix and poured it into that bag. So we're starting off with the same amount of growing mix in the bucket as the bag. Okay. Right, I've just got these from the homegrown veg props department. And this will help us manage our expectations. Imagine if you will, there's a beetroot. Okay, there's a beetroot. Do you think you could get that many beetroot out of a 10 inch bucket? Well, let's do a visual. Let's see what let's see what it looks like. How many is in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well. That looks overcrowded to me. Does it look overcrowded to you? You're never going to get that many beetroot in a small bucket or a small bag, are you? Unless they're very small beetroot, unless they, you take them as baby beetroot. But if you want to grow them on into, into a, a fair size beetroot, you're not going to get that many in a small bucket like this. So let's take some out and let's space them out. How many have we got here? How does that look? Seven. I think I can space seven out and make this look realistic. Oh now, that's looking better isn't it? If I'm wanting to grow these beetroot onto full size, which I am, then I think I could grow seven beetroot in this bucket. The bag's about the same size, I think I can grow seven in there as well. So that's it, we're managing our expectations. We're looking to sow seven beetroot and get seven decent sized beetroot out at the end of the day. Okay, now let me show you this. You will have probably seen these before. If you haven't, where have you been? Let me just reach this template. Hey, already made seven equally spaced holes in this template. Fits perfect. Fits perfect. Now all we need to do is mark them through. And then we've got seven equally spaced stations. And this particular template fits exactly on the top of that bag as well. And you'll see that later in this video. So we'll just 
mark these seven stations off like this and we'll go and get the bait route These are the bait route. It's a variety called Titan. Um, I sat these bait route clusters on this tissue about 10 days ago. And so these are now pre germinated bait route. So we're going to try and put one of those in each of those seven planting stations. That's how this goes. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So our first bird root. Put that in the middle one, shall we? And just close it in like that. Right, still this one. This is not going to take long, is it? And we know with absolute certainty that a seven bait route in this bucket. You would not get that if you were simply sowing bait route seeds, bait route clusters. You could finish up with, I don't know. 10, 15 beetroot growing in here. If you just planted the beetroot uh, using the conventional put a seed in a hole method. You probably can't see these now because they are quite small, but trust me, the seven bird road, well, there's no, no need to trust me, you've watched me do it. The seven bird road planted in here. How's that? That's the bucket done, seven bird road. So we'll move this out the way we'll do the bag. Right, 
Right. Have you grown in these bags? Have you ever grown in them? This is my first year with them and that's why I'm doing this trail. And uh, it is my intention to do quite a few different vegetables in these bags just to see how they perform. So this one it still has the seed on it, still has the um, still part of the cluster, but it'll break that off. When we've got this done, we'll uh, just give this a light spray because we don't want to disturb any of these beetroot. Now they all haven't germinated in this box, some don't seem to have anyway. So what I will do is, I'll keep the box on the windowsill indoors um, and hopefully some more will germinate and they'll be reserves and if all these beetroot get away then I'll plant those somewhere else. Last one. Okay, I'll just pop the bucket back up, get the spray, and that's uh, job done, as we say, here at Homegrown Veg. Right, let me just get the spray. Okay, I've got the water, I've got the spray. We'll give each of these a little drink. Uh, this soil is quite wet by the way. It's a 50-50 mix of um, garden soil and coir. So I'm trying this year. I'm not saying that's the best. I'm just saying that's what I'm using this year. How's that? So if you want to know how this goes, if you want to know which is best for beetroot, buckets or bags, you'll need to come back to me in a few months time. See what's going on here. Ideally what I'd like to do is take a full bucket of beetroot 
and a full bag of beetroot at the same time and we, and we can do a comparison can't we? Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.